The Lord Jesus bless you this day, my dear ones. And may his words be remembered and tucked away in your hearts, for he is eager and longing to be closer to you. So I asked him, Lord, what is on your precious heart today? He replied, everything to do with holiness. How blessed I am by those of you who have allowed me to take your hand and dance with you. That you trust me and are willing brings me great comfort of heart. I encourage all of you, do not be afraid. The closer we are, the more seamlessly we move together in this world. The enemy fears your intimacy with me more than any other gift. When the Lord talks about intimacy, he's not talking about anything carnal. He's talking about understanding each other's hearts and minds about things, being very closely united. He continued, These times are fraught with many fears, and you will find your stability in the moments of closeness you share with me. Worship is quite essential to your relationship with me. The more you worship and let go in worship, the smoother your transition into the spiritual realm where I can comfort and refresh you. Claire, you need this a great deal. Hours and hours of worship to replenish your soul and repair the damage that has been done to you. Do not bear all the guilt for this. You have been heavily attacked in this area because the unclean ones know that your trysting time with me is your lifeline into the supernatural. So you are right in wanting to spend more time there. My people, you can have all you want of me. Some of you want only a thimble, others a cup, others a gallon, and others yet a whole lake or ocean of me. You may have whatever you want, but you must ask yourself, how much of Jesus do I want? That is the real question. If you want to discover what is important to someone, look at how they spend their time. That will tell you everything. Be advised, my brides, that Satan too calculates by that standard and assigns demons to steal time from you, especially prime time. And prime time would be um, when you're alert, you're awake, you're not starving for food, no one's cooking something sumptuous in the kitchen that's got your mind on it, um, and you're rested and alert. Telephone calls, requests, hunger, bodily discomfort, noise, children and animals acting out, the weather, etc. The enemy uses all those things to entice you away from prayer. They assign demons to use those preferences of yours to get your time and attention off of me. This is one reason why I train you in fasting and detachment from earthly distractions. One who has mastered the longings of the body is harder to distract. And how many times have you wanted to go deeper? And just at that very moment, you took a break to prepare yourself to go deeper, but ended up totally pulled away by distractions and never returning to that sweet place. I answered him and I said, Oh Lord, far too many times to remember. That's exactly what's happened to me. He continued, Well, that is precisely what I am warning you of right now. They watch you constantly to see where they are most likely to gain entrance. They even incite others to call you with some disturbing news. Poor Claire, you have fallen far too many times for their ruse. That is why I can use you to warn others. You know how bad that can be. 
My brides, you must learn how to take every impulse captive to pursue me. You must plan your prayer times wisely so you will not be interrupted. Be on the lookout for someone being sent in to draw you away from me. It's not deliberate on their part. They are just being used by the demons to cause disorder. This is warfare. Never forget that. And your adversary is quite astute and trained in these tactics. So if you know these things, my beloved one, happy and blessed will you be if you put them into practice. And that was the end of his message.